okay, we're on our way to Costa Mesa. Maybe two or three more hours we'll be there. I stopped to get something to drink. Uh, on the way there is my favorite place to stop all the time. Planes, trains, and automobiles never. Um, <laughs> they always strike. We, we couldn't get out last night. The, the runways were closed. They, it was a mess. So, but we're going to be there. Don't worry. In about, the, the crew is already loading in. We're ready to go. So I'll see you all there. Now, all I need to do is find something to drink. Okay? <laughs> Bye. Sounds good. Check the microphone. One, two, three. It's the top end. I'm seeing red. Travis, <laughs> what? Are we on? He's <laughs> putting me on again. No warnings. <laughs> You're crazy. Or it's sound checking, that's good. Microphone, Anthony. By the way, a lot of people are finding out who Travis Mack is. He is he's the guy who's doing a lot of the, the video. And, and Anthony, the man who's doing the audio, front of house and the audio you're hearing right now. And if the piano doesn't sound good, it's Anthony's fault. Hi, everybody. We made it. We are in Costa Mesa. I know a lot of you uh, have been wondering if we're going to make it tonight. We will. I'm here and I'm playing. So get ready. Some of you are going to be waking up, but uh, we're going to play. And from what I find, just found out myself, we're going to start a half an hour earlier tonight. 7.30 uh, Los Angeles time. West Coast, uh, you know, usually we wait five, ten minutes until the people get settled. We might be just, but overall, a half an hour earlier. And uh, what are you doing watching me? <laughs> Show starts in a couple of hours. I'll see you guys. Okay. We are live. <laughs> We're this fast? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome to Costa Mesa, California. We're here. Welcome. There you go. You all look great on the monitor. Uh, okay, Michael, where are you going to take us now? Sharad from Bangalore, India writes, Dear Yanni, greetings from Bangalore. I am glad to have attended your concert in Bangalore and thank you for making my dream come true, which I've been waiting for for 17 years. It's really nice of you the way you are directly connecting with fans on Facebook. I was wondering many times, do you really get to see our posts on Facebook, YMB, and Twitter? Do you really go through them? And the answer is yes. Good. <laughs> Good. My question is, if I could tell you is one of your best studio albums. And I hope each and every Yanni Hollick would agree with me. <laughs> this, this, you continue. To, did you say Yanni Hollick? I did. <laughs> a new coin was praying, was, was uh, coined today. A new phrase was coined today. <laughs> okay, go ahead. I would like to know why you came up with that title and the story behind the album. I would appreciate it if you can consider to play the title track, if I could tell you, on piano or the song A Walk in the Rain. Oh, that's very nice. Looking forward to hear from you and wish you all the best for your live conversations. Kind regards, Sharat. Very nice, Sharat. Thank you. Thank you. I think it's, they're trying to change the name of Bangalore, Bengaluru, because we were there and they're just Bombay became Mumbai. It's taking a little time. So you don't know that until you get there. You have to be there. There's, there's no substitute for experience. You have to go there and then you know and you feel it. So thank you for your question. And uh, if I could tell you, I'm going to say it very quickly. It was a very special album for me because I had taken a sabbatical. I hadn't touched the piano for a whole year. I mean, a whole year, not a single note. I wanted to know at that part of my life, it was back in 98. 
I have been everywhere in the world. I had done so many concerts, I was completely burned out. And I was going through a tough time. And I thought, is there a, a, a yawning behind all this music? Can I be a human being without music? And I wanted to know that, it was, was very important to me. So being as brave as I am, what I did, I ran back home to my mom and dad. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I spent uh, a half a year there walking with my dad on the Greek mountains and I'm going to play a song for you um, the gentleman was talking to me about the heart there you go yeah I'm going to play that for you it's very important um, so when I came back and I, and I wrote I started writing again I, I didn't know if I was going to come back ever that's the truth. Um, the first album that I did was If I Could Tell You. And that's what you're feeling. It's very unique and a very diff different album because my life and the way I looked at life had been changed. Um, so I will play If I Could Tell You for you, my friend. Okay. And of course, for all of you and everybody else who is watching.
Thank you. I'm asking questions, you know, it's like, why? Why? What? <laughs> That's a question right there. That goes on. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. All right, these pieces of music that I'm playing right now, it's a they're pure form. Now we play with a band, we have the drums, the bass, and the hi-hats, and the orchestra, and the violins, and the celli. And what you're hearing is the purest the song, the form of the song, the way I heard it the first time, before we made it big, <laughs> expanded it. And I think it has its own amazing beauty because it's clean and clear and it states, makes the statements directly. Okay, Michael, do you have any more questions? Of course I do. <laughs> he Hi. always has more questions. Heidi from Costa Rica wants to say, Hello, Yanni, I'm Heidi, president of the fan club, Yanni Costa Rica. Ah, I remember that. Look at the, that's, the daughter, that's your daughter, right? She's cute. Oh. I always wanted to ask you this question. With the departure of a musician, as was recently the case with Victor Espinola and the harp, how long does it take you to readjust the notes that he played to your music? We saw it beautifully with Ming Freeman on the last tour, but I wonder, what is the process of replacing those notes, those instru instruments, without doubt, with the magic that you do? It must be an incredible experience, the trans transformations you do, which maintains and force every magical jewel created by you. I want to thank you for being in my life for 26 years. Wow. I love you very much. I feel you close. A strong and sincere hug, Heidi. Hi, thank you, Heidi. That's very nice of you. And we just made it one time we've been in Costa Rica. It was a couple of years ago. It was amazing. We played the stadium there. It was just awesome. Uh, everybody was waiting for us. And I could, I could read things on the internet from the Costa Rican people that came to, come to Miami or other places and they said he's never coming to Costa Rica so no way we have to go up into the United States to see him and boy did I write him back and say you're all wrong <laughs> so we did it it was a lot of fun and uh, what would I like to play I'm gonna I'm gonna play something that I have never played before um, in front of a live audience, ever. There is no live version of this song. And uh, to tell you the truth, I'm a little nervous about trying to play it because it's very difficult. Uh, <laughs> I will. It's uh, the left hand is playing on an odd time signature, like seven, eight, and the right hand is playing um, Spanish guitar type of uh, flamingo. So the two together is, uh, okay, I'm gonna try it. I like the song, it's called the the flame within. First time ever. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs>
I can think of is a love for life. And I really want to do a flame with it.
Thank you. Thank you. It took me a while. It has to come to me. I can't. I can't it's not uh, the arrangement. It's not uh, when you play a CD. It's just like a, a photograph. It's a still photograph of uh, of a wave of the ocean. It's frozen in time. Music is not. Music keeps evolving and changing, and that, that's what I'm trying to do here. Is I'm trying to let it just come through and uh, let me speak to you directly from, with my heart. So that's what you just heard. <laughs> Took a while, but I got it. <laughs> All right, I think we have one more question. Natalie from Haiti says, Hi, Yanni. Oh. Oh. I'm Natalie, your fan from Haiti. Oh, Miss Darling. What do you consider your greatest achievement so far to be? If you could start again, would you do anything differently? With love, from Haiti. P.S. My son Nathan is one years old and is already a big fan. Aww. His favorite song is Rites of Passage. <laughs> hint, hint. <laughs> Thank you, Natalie. That's, that's very nice. And, and uh, all I can say is that there's nothing you can change. If you change one little thing in your life, any time, any place, uh, your trajectory will change dramatically, dramatically. You go to a different place. So you have to, I accept myself and I'm here because of everything that I have learned, I've been through all the hardships, all the everything. It's, uh, people say, wouldn't you like to get younger and everything? And I'm going, sure, I'd like to have a younger body, but can I keep the brain? <laughs> I don't want to lose all the knowledge, you know, the, the, the stuff that I've been through. Um, so anyway, can, can we see the, the, the photograph one more time? Because that, that baby is so darling. So I know what I'm going to play for you, Natalie. The song is called To Take, To Hold. That's a nice one. 